Hey guys, I uh, just want to give you a little information about the housing situation in Japan and the opportunities. So, I guess for people, I guess for two groups of people, for people who haven't yet been to Japan or coming here for the first time or people who have already been here and been settled for a while. So if you have not been to Japan yet and you're moving to Tokyo for the first time, the best and cheapest way to find a place to live is a guest house. Uh, you're going to pay about anywhere from 50,000 to about 80,000, I guess, roughly in rent. Uh, US dollars is about 500 to 800 dollars, and you're going to pay about a 10,000 or a 100 dollar deposit. Quick and easy way, it's also a lot of, usually a lot of foreigners, other people living in the same house, so you got a good opportunity to meet some people, uh, go out together. It's just a comfortable way to get settled. Um, so, you, most foreigners tend to do that when they first come here. I did as well. Uh, but after a while, you tend to tire of it, and then you want to find a place of your own. Uh, so, words of advice about finding, say, an apartment in Tokyo. Uh, first thing, it's really, really expensive. Uh, unlike my hometown, which is in Canada, where you move in and you pay your first month rent and maybe a small deposit, if you're going to move into an apartment in Tokyo, you're going to pay first month's rent. Uh, then you're going to pay this Japanese idea of key money, which I think is just ridiculous. Um, and then you some, you have to pay your agent fee to your realtor. So sometimes it's not just one month's deposit; it's a two-month deposit. So if you move into a place that costs maybe one thousand dollars or maybe a hundred thousand yen, before you actually move into the place, you could pay upwards of five thousand or fifty thousand, five hundred thousand yen. Uh, which is just ridiculous. So if you're going to move into an apartment, be prepared for these sorts of things. Uh, save a little money beforehand. Uh, but as far as living in an apartment, I do recommend it. Uh, but on the other side of things, it's really small. If you want to live in Tokyo, where I finally live in now, uh, it's really, really expensive. Um, uh, to the point where it really hurts your wallet. Uh, but And the places are really, really small. My apartment is about the size of a bathroom, uh, and I pay way too much for it. Uh, but it's worth it for the convenience, for the locality, everything is better. But just be prepared to spend a lot of money, um, or just stay in your guest house, which is always fun and easy to do too. So those are my recommendations about housing in Tokyo. Best of luck finding a place and try not to spend too much money.